going on guys and welcome back to another video. So I hope you guys are all having an absolute awesome day. It is very, very early where I am right now. So if you notice that I'm a little bit like, I don't know, if I seem a little out of whack, there is a reason. If you guys could do me a favor, because I know you guys are there, it, can we get this video to 2,000 likes? To two, that would be absolutely insane. I would appreciate it so much. And if we can do that, I'll have a special treat for you guys in the next episode. I promise you that. So, let's go look at where exactly we are in the season right now. What is going on? Standings, we have already, like, no games back. We're 64 and 34. The Yankees are the only team even close. I believe we have the best pitching team in the whole league. I'm not sure where exactly to see that, but I'm pretty sure. It's, oh, team stats. Win percentage, we are first. Uh, if I go to team rankings... Okay, so batting, I believe if we go to pitching, we are the best pitching team in the league. I, I want to say ERA, we are the best. Complete games, we're the best. And like hits allowed, we're the best. Runs allowed. Like it's just the best pitching crew in the whole entire league, which is a pretty good thing to be a part of. And one day, I kind of want to be the spearhead of it. Uh, but we got a series against the Cubs here. The four, oh, okay. Play against the former World Series champs. Let's go do what we do. Okay, so after the leadoff double by Addison Russell, this makes my job just that much more difficult. I have to just do that much more than I usually would to make things happen. Okay, let's hit him with a knuckleball. Those just dance in there very, very nicely. That's kind of one of my, like, out pitches. I don't know why I used a showtime so early in the at-bat. Okay, 90 on the gun with the fastball. And, then, and, like, I have so many different speeds. Like, so many. Oh, he went. He went. The runner's going to get to third, but that is okay. We get the strikeout. Definitely not a completely ideal situation. That runner on third is mine. So I have to pitch a little bit differently here. I have to pitch, not to contact, but I have to go 100% for a strikeout against Jason Harris. Because this batter, oh my, are you kidding me up? I'm in a tough spot and you're not going to give me that call? That looked perfect. Okay, we hit him with a fastball. He's going to foul that off. Okay, the cutter in on the hand. Where's that going? Where's that going? That looks like it's somewhat short. Or no, that's off the wall. Okay, that runner is going to score easily. That runner is going to score. It's not going well against the Cubs, boys. It's not going well against the Cubs right now. Okay, facing Chris Bryant. And anytime you're facing one of the league's best, you have to pitch a little bit different. I can't just leave him fastballs right down the middle. Because those become souvenirs immediately in the MLB once you have. Oh, knuckleball. Woo! Sit down, Chris Bryant. I suck out Baez and Chris Bryant back to back. I did allow the one run. But that is honestly okay. I'm happy with that appearance. And I don't know if I'm going to get another inning, am I? No. Okay, so I am getting another appearance against the Cubs. And guys, I continue to have camera problems. Just like absolutely crazy camera problems. Meaning, for the rest of this video, you might not have the face cam. I promise, as soon as I get home, I will address this problem. Because it has been driving me absolutely crazy. But most of this video is going to be the commentary without the Oh, nice pitch. Nice pitch, and there it goes, my camera is completely dead, and for some reason, like, it just won't charge. Like, it's driving me absolutely insane, and it's got me on, like, f like probably five or six videos lately. So for this one, honestly, I'm just going to finish it up with the post commentary, like I used to do it anyways. I, I, I don't mind it. Like, obviously, I, it's preferred for you guys, and for me to have the actual kind of, like, live commentary where you can see me talking and everything. But honestly, it's, it's not that much of a difference. Oh, nice pitch. Nice pitch. Bottom of the zone. One, two. Two out. Okay, let's with the 12-6. With the showtime. And let's get back. Oh, no. Did he? Nice hit, man. Nice hit. Those usually don't get hit. Like, I gotta be honest. In my, like, career, those usually don't get hit. And he stayed with that and took it the other way. That's exactly... How they tell you to do it here, Jason Hayward, a guy who got me in the last game for that double off the wall, which was very, very frustrating. He has another chance against me. And, like, my average against, like, it's bad. Like, I, I don't pitch. Uh, lefties hit me pretty good. Lefties hit me in, like, the 260s, I believe. And righties are, under, like, in the 100s. If I'm, if I'm, be, if I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure that's what, oh, my gosh. 
Can we get a replay on that? Can we get a replay on that? I thought he maybe went around. Okay, 3-1 knuckleball. Definitely a sketchy pitch for that scenario. Not one that I would normally use. Okay, outside corner with a fastball. Nice pitch. I am hitting my spots today. Okay, up, up top. Up top. Woo! Let's go, boys! Sit down, Jason! Sit down, Jason! Okay, give me another inning. Come on, I'm feeling good. Okay, now the Red Sox, we end up getting the win. It's kind of fun playing on the best team, actually, in the league. Like, it's kind of enjoyable. I'm not going to lie. Okay, so we got a huge, huge outing here against the division rival. This is big. Anytime it's Yankees, Red Sox, you know that's going to draw a big crowd. A lot of people are going to be watching. And I have to come in here and just shut the door. I got to shut the door. Okay, nice pitch on the all. He went right with that. He went right with that. Nice catch, though, in left field. Nice catch. Thank you. I like that. That's an easy out. That makes my job this just that much easier when you have fielders who know what they are doing. We're already down two runs. My job is to come in here and make sure that that is it. Because two is something that is definitely you're able to come back from. Once that gets into the four or five run mark, it becomes almost nearly impossible. Okay, with the knuckleball, he's a little bit ahead of that. Okay, let me hit him with the cutter. Cutter on the outside part of the plate. Nice pitch. Sit down, buddy. Sit down. Go back to the dugout. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for coming out. Okay, two gone here. I have both of my showtime pitches. I don't even know if I'm going to use them. Just because I don't even know if I'm going to need them here. Like, I honestly feel like I might not need them. Okay, cutter just barely gets a hold of that one. I'm going to use it right here. I like the knuckler. I like the knuckler in the low part of the zone. Sit down, boy. Woo, that is hype. That is hype. Just coming in against the second best team in the division and doing exactly what I was told to do. I better. Like, I figure eventually they're going to call me into the office and they're going to say, Brett, we want to move you down. Like, we want you to start pitching in more important spots. You can see I'm 6-1, 2.72 ERA, and almost 50 innings and 80 strikeouts. Averages are 206 and 200. So, like, I'm doing pretty well. Like, I'm not having a bad rookie season, I wouldn't say. And here we go, top of the eighth. Oh, nice pitch. Nice, nice pitch. Okay, where we go now? I think we want to go high and inside. No, where's that going? Where's that going? Get under it. Get under it. That should be an easy out. Good stuff. Those always, those, those like bloopers always worry me though. It's something going back to when I like you like actually played baseball when I was a kid. I found when I always pitched the guys, there was nothing more frustrating than when a bloop single that you know they didn't hit it on the good part of the bat, but they just hit it to the good part of the field and it's a runner on. So I try to avoid that at all costs. Oh, Headley, talk about going with a pitch. Honestly, wow. I'm not even mad about that at all. Like, I legit am not mad about that one at all. That was beautiful what he just did. That was an outside knuckleball, a pitch that most people either take or roll over on. He saw, recognized the shift that what he was going up against and just took it the other way. That is insane. Very good job, Chase. But that, just because I'm praising you, doesn't mean I'm not going to strike out your friends. Just because I'm praising you doesn't mean I'm not going to come in here and strike out these other guys. I'm gonna try it on this lefty. The inside knuckler. Oh, where's that going? Where's that going? You got that. Just retreat, he's not gonna move up. Get the ball in, good stuff guys. Good stuff, I wonder if I'm like a candidate for rookie of the year. Like I don't wanna like get too confident, but like I kinda wanna look at that because I do believe, like I played a tiny bit in the league last year but this is definitely my full, first full season. And I don't know exactly how it works in the MLB in terms of like the rookie of the year buddy. And if you, it's like your first season or what, but I feel like as a rookie, I'm having a pretty good year out of the bullpen. Like I would, if I was handing out the award, I would probably give it to myself. I'm getting another inning of work here in the top of the ninth. We're still down by only one, but if I shut them down here, it is possible that we could get a run and be set. That's gone. That's gone. Oh my gosh. Woo. Shout out to like the rain. I don't know. I thought, I swear when that ball came off the bat, I was like, my initial reaction was that is a home run. That's going into the parking lot back there. But luckily 
We got a bit lucky. Okay, inside fastball. Nice job. Let's keep that. I'm bringing a new element to this uh, once I get home. Like right now, uh, time's very, like schedule is very, very crazy for me right now. Uh, Easter, I went to my, I'm probably, when you're watching this, I probably made this video about, I, I don't know, a week before you're watching this because I had this big Easter thing with my girlfriend and the last thing I want to be doing is focused on YouTube during that. So I have been preloading videos forever. I'm also in exams. I write my last exam tonight. I'm so pumped. It's almost summer and school is almost out. Oh, nice pitch. 100 on the gun. And just life is good right now. I'm, I'm looking forward to getting home and being able to like, just treat this like a full-time job and up my quality a bit is what I really want to do. Where's that going? That's an easy out, I believe. Unless we go to extras, but I think the max they've ever given me is two innings. They usually don't give me any more than two innings. Uh, the Yankees do win. But I'm happy with that performance. Like, I really don't think I have any reason not to be happy with that performance. I came in, I shut the door, I did what I needed to do, and I'm happy with that. Let's go check out Rookie of the Year, though. Let's go see if I got any Rookie of the Year potential. I'm not sure. I feel like I'm having a good season. I'm like 5-1 with a 2-point-something ERA with 50 innings and a ridiculous amount of strikeouts. Okay, the manager's coming over again. He's probably not going to see you've been sitting down as they can stand up. Just like, honestly, that's just the same thing. I've gotten this animation a million times. One million times. Like, I'm just waiting for the one time that the animation isn't the exact same. Let's go to the award section. Okay, MVP Cy Young. Reliever of the Year Award. Oh, I'm, I'm not even close. Rookie of the... No! What? Come on. Am I even a rookie? Am I even a rookie? Like, I, I want to be in that. I want that award. I want that award. We're going to start chasing that. Like, how much better are these guys than I am? Bowden is hitting 263 with 10 home runs. These guys don't look... Like, to me, this guy's impressive. Brian Hollis. Like, he's pretty impressive. It looks like all these guys have, like, the same face. I don't know how creative they have been with their Rookie of the Year last year. It was him, Carlos Correa got the year before. Gold Glove Pitcher. What about the Gold? I will, I will not get the Gold Glove Pitcher. Um, that's pretty much all we're going to look at for that. I kind of want to look at my statistics and just see. I'm pretty sure I'm a, still a rookie. And I know I'm getting judged right now if I'm not. But like, oh yeah, I'm a rookie. So like, why am I not even in the running? 51 innings. 2.6 ERA. Like, find me a rookie out of the bullpen that has had more production this season than I have had. Like, I feel like I've had a pretty good year. I've allowed only four home runs, only 15 earned runs, only 40 hits. Like, I'm pretty confident in myself, but we're gonna start chasing that rookie there. If I go the rest of the season without allowing the run, they have to give me the rookie of the year. They literally have no choice. Okay, playing the Indians here, and this is like, for like, I know this is one year ahead, but this has got to be something for the Red Sox. I think anytime the Red Sox play the Indians, they won, especially after what they did to them in the playoffs in the first round, the cutter low. We are so behind right now, though. Like, this isn't even fun. This is like, if I get these guys, it doesn't mean anything. It really doesn't mean anything because, like, the chances of the Red Sox winning are nothing. I just, these are straight ERA appearances and strikeouts. So I want to make sure I get the three outs immediately and preferably I get three strikeouts. That is the ideal goal of this whole thing, the high knuckler to get a one, two. Do I go back to back showtime? I think I do. I think we go back to back showtime against weird stance guy. Oh, that's going down the line. Make a play. Oh my gosh. This team, I love them. I honestly, I don't love the Red Sox, but I love this team. What a gorgeous, Gorgeous play right there. Okay, Tyler Naquin, definitely a good hitter here. Gotta be very, very good and gotta hit my spots with him. I cannot afford to miss. Okay, that's gonna be down a little bit. Okay, fastball, outside part of the plate. Oh my gosh. I was like so close on so many of those pitches though. Like I didn't feel like I was missing by any like long shots. All of those pitches we're just right around the zone and he didn't chase so honestly good on him 
The 0 2 to Jose Ramirez. Let's get him to swing through a fastball. I think we go fastball up top. Left of just sitting there, Jose. What are you looking? What are you waiting for, Jose? What are you waiting for, Jose? I don't know what you're waiting for at the play. We're gonna play one more game, you guys, and then we're gonna be done with the episode. 6 1, bottom of the ninth. Really, really like this is actually kind of crucial. Like a lot of the situations I get put in aren't, but this one actually holds a bit of meaning because really they're 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 behind by a lot, but it's definitely doable for them to come back if I get too scrappy with these innings and if I do not pitch with a lot of oh I hate him I hate him I'm sorry he is my least favorite player I don't even care I don't even care Brett Laurie I know you're Canadian and I'm Canadian but like if there's one guy that I am gonna be in, it is Brett Laurie I don't know why I always just thought he was super cocky and like I definitely am glad we traded him for Josh Donaldson sorry about that guys sorry that was like just to me I just had to do that I'm sorry Okay, so after doing that, now I have even more work to do. I know I said we were chasing the rookie here, but now we got runners on first and second. But that is no problem, you guys. That is no problem. We're still gonna get these guys out. We're still gonna get these guys out. In infield fly rule goes into effect. Okay, last batter of the video. I'm gonna say my outro right now. That's how confident I am. Thank you guys all so much for coming here and watching the video. I know it's a little bit of a longer episode, but these are like, these are kind of the dog days of the road to the show series, not in the playoffs. Like, it, it's just tough. It's tough at this point. Okay, high and inside. He did not want anything. It's just tough. It's tough to find and to like be entertained. So I like to try and go through this as fast as possible so we can get to the playoffs and the off season. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Oh my, that's awkward now. That could have been so special. That honestly could have been so cool. I was just going to end the video right then. As soon as I struck him out, I was going to end the video, and now it's weird. Okay, can we hit him with this? Where's that going? Easy ground ball to Dustin Pedroia. Thank you, Dustin. You are a great, great dude. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a great day, and I will see you guys next time.